everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I have another Valentine's themed tutorial, but as I said in my other one, these can be used for many occasions and I actually think this would be quite a nice Mother's Day, Father's Day gift as well. So these are chocolate chocolate wraps really so just your kind of trays of chocolate or once you see what I'm using anything like that really it's just a nice fun way to just dress up something very inexpensive mine only cost me a pound and uh, I just think it's another nice little gift and this is going with the wine and the card all in one that I shared previously so these here are I don't know, I don't know why I'm choose, deciding which one to choose but basically you just slide out and you have all of these lovely treats inside. So you'll probably be familiar with these. I'll show you the pack in a moment. Um, but yeah, they're just these wraps, really, really easy to do, but it's just a nice way, I think, to um, make something look really nice. So you can see there, they all slide out really nicely and um, just dress up what is a bit of a boring box. Now you can make a proper box if you wanted to, that's you know no problem, but because these chocolates are already sealed and um, they the, the original casing in a minute, which you see was a wrap, I thought I'm just gonna do exactly that, but decorate it so it matches the other gifts that I've got. So very easy, very quick, and let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so here is what I'm using. So it's the Toffee, 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 Toffee. It's always a funny one. And um, yeah, like I said, I picked these up for a pound and um, I just think they're great. So you want to take off the casing. So this is how you can do this for any box. I think you might be able to do this, well, you can do it with anything, but I'm thinking of ones that are, I've got a car, you know, they're still sealed, so they're like airtight. I think matchmakers, possibly. Um, what else? You want something that's already in a case, really. But have a little look. You probably, I mean, you you know, people watch from different parts of the world. So um, I'm sure you will have something and probably be able to get these anyway. So you'll see there, I just ripped it open. So I can see it's got the score lines all the way down there. So I just need to work out what size cardstock I need. So I'm going to lay this down and it's coming up at 10 and 3 quarters, but I don't need that bigger tab. So I'm going to do 10 and a half by 6 and 7 eighths of an inch. So you Okay, so I've got my cardstock ready, then I'm going to bring this piece back in again and I'm going to basically line up line up the score lines. So I can see that one of them is bang on five, so I'm going to put a little marker there and score it all the way down in a minute, and another marker at nine and a quarter, they're bang on. Now the other markers are just slightly off, so I'm going to put a pencil mark in line with where that score line is, so it's just in between that little track there, and then this one here is just slightly over the 10 inch. So now I'm going to remove that and then I'm just going to move the cardstock now until the pencil mark lines up with one of the notches. Any one, it doesn't matter. And just score that all the way down and then that one, I'm just going to move along a bit more there. Pop it back into place and just do those original ones. So now I know I've got my score lines exactly where they need to be for that box. Okay, so now I'm just going to fold and burnish the score lines and then I'm just getting my glue and I'm just going to cover that tab and just fold the side and the tab over and then fold this side over and it will all line up. Oh, put a bit too much glue on there, it's all coming out. But just let that stick into place. Okay, so now we've got our case. Then I've got a piece of mirrored cardstock here. So this is four by six and five eighths, and then the pattern paper is three and three quarters by six and three eighths of an inch. So the pattern piece, I'm actually gonna stick down using some foam, just to give it some dimension. And I forgot to show you the papers I'm using. So it's the same ones as I used in the previous tutorial. And that's this one here, the Making Memories by Fest Edition. So it's a really good one for Valentine's. And it's just got some great prints and colours in it as well. So um, it's a good one for fussy cutting as well. So I'm just going to take my backing off. And then I'm going to stick this one over the silver. And you should have a nice border. And then you just want to stick this one over the top. If you want to decorate the bottom you might want to have space to maybe write something, you might want to pop a sentiment on there, then you can do. 
Um, I'm just going to flatten that down. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my chocolate and I can just ooh, slide that one in perfectly. Cool, just looks so nice. So much better than the other one. Then I've got one of these hearts again. It's the same ones that I used before and it's from, grab it here, this one. So it's the card making magic. It's that big heart and I've also die cut the smaller one as well. So I'm doing very similar decorations and then from the Bright Rosa it's the heart band. I'm using that one. So I've gone and die cut that one. Again, like I said, very similar from before. And then this one here, Yummy in My Tummy, was from an old Stamping Up red rubber stamp set. Um, which some of you may well have as well, so I will um, use that one because I thought it's quite appropriate because these are delicious. So this heart, I've cut off that side there on an angle and I'm just going to stick all this down. And then the flowers, I just used my hot glue. I just thought it was a little bit girly and um, I know my friends will like it. And uh, just to finish it all off, so I'm going to layer all this up and then we are finished. And then I've just put some blobs of my Kalau and I'm just going to sit my sequins just randomly over the top there just to finish it off and just to add a little bit of sparkle. I might go over it with my sparkle pens as well actually. I'll just bring that up there you can see how quick and easy that is to do. So if you, you know, you do look at chocolate sometimes and you don't just want to wrap it in some paper or put it in a gift bag, the wraps are really easy to do by just removing the current packaging and um, just following it on your school board and stuff. It's just a really fun way to, I've done it many times when I've just wanted something quick, maybe I've not quite got the time to, um, you know, make a, a box or work out all the measurements and stuff on what's going to fit. This is a really, really fun way. There it is, my six chocolate wraps all finished and now I can add those to the little gift box and cards that I've done as well. Again, if you've missed them, do check out this playlist. It's the Valentine's 2020 pay playlist and uh, hopefully it will give you lots of inspiration. So I hope you've enjoyed today. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and consider subscribing so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.